Well, I'm back. <laughs> You're you you've been active apparently. I have not been doing shit, which there's a good reason for that. But anywho, uh, what can we do? I, we're playing Overwatch. If that's not obvious enough already, uh, what do you want to do, Jay? I have fucking. We should have <laughs> we should have thought of this before we started the fucking thing. Um, I let me just play a couple of games and. Game. I, I, I don't know what new stuff they got in, in this. Well, I mean, not really a whole lot. I mean, just a few different game modes. But, I mean, over the years, I mean, like, it's not like they've been recently added in. Um, uh, I think that a player free for all has been in there for a while now. Um, uh -huh. But, yeah, no, there, there isn't, like, real new shit, aside from, like, characters. Um. But anyway, so I know one of the topics that are gonna that is gonna come up, and on that note, we might as well just add this uh, little, I guess, a warning. Not warning, but I guess info ahead of time. Um, you don't have to be watching the video. You can be, I don't know, chilling in your, in your, uh, in, on your bed, listening or listening to our sexy voices as you play on your mobile phone. Play some video games there and listen to us talk. You don't have to watch the video. It's a podcast. We're just going to be rambling and who knows for how long. We're probably going to end up thirsty and fucking choking and all this shit. Um, so, yeah. No need to watch the video. Just listen to our sexy voices. Um, so, anyways, I know one of the topics that is going to come up. Because you had brought it up. Um... Uh, but something I've really been wanting to talk about, and it's kind of, I guess, tradition. Um, the new Black Ops 4. Yeah, my friend um, um, texted me about it, and I, I don't know how I feel. It's just... <laughs> I wasn't really hyped about it. I'm just... I don't know. I'm, I'm really hoping, uh, depending on people um, who would say, like, Oh, this is an awesome game. But, but I, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure. keeping it with tradition, I think Call of Duty sees it the same way because they never improve their fucking engine. So, just watch, World War One, or World War One, Derp, I'm thinking Battlefield. Uh, World War Two. Uh, that's Activision, uh, and who, who else is doing fucking uh, World War Two? I don't remember. Uh, but watch no, there be a uh, sledgehammer thinking. Watch sledgehammer do another game, and make watch it look the same way. It's not gonna look any fucking different, no matter how many years pass. That's the case that's going on with uh, Black Ops 4, and that's the thing that kind of annoys me to be uh, to be honest with you, is that Black Ops 3 was released when, like 2013 or so. Uh, I could be wrong, it's, it's roughly around that area. Um, and you would think, oh, since then, you know, fucking four years have passed, or five rather. Uh, there, they should have a new engine. Not new engine, but, you know, roughly new graphics at least. And all the fucking shit looks exactly the same. The uh, outcome. It's definitely gonna play different from World War II. Um, which people are probably accustomed to now, which isn't a bad thing in itself. Um, oh fuck, I just got sniped by Ohanzo. Uh, what are you playing at? Oh, soldier. <laughs> Talking about Call of Duty and yeah. playing as the most Call of Duty character ever. <laughs> um, I, I mean, I, I used to be good at this character, um, but I'm just trying to get, I like the hang of this game. Yeah, I've, uh, I've been playing quite often, to be honest. I just don't record the videos because I don't like playing alone. Uh, or doing videos alone. Um, anyway. Yeah, so... Ah, fucking hell, that goddamn monkey fucking died. God fucking Winston Weasel, god shit. Um, <laughs> there goes the monetization, monetizing. I mean, it's not like we get monetized anyway, so it's not that big. Um, but anyways, Jesus Christ, dude, these guys are shit. Can not be any worse than that? 
I, you know, I, I hate that Mora, or I, I think that's how it's fucking pronounced. It's uh, the other healer, which is uh, Bob Boba. Our enemies return. Um, fucking hater. Fucking useless piece of shit of a character. Um, what was I? What were we talking about? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So it, it looks no fucking different. It seems like it's gonna play the same, different than World War Two, of course. Um. I don't, I don't think it's gonna be uh, groundbreaking even with the, uh, <laughs> oh god what's going on with me, I'm fucking dying over here, even with the um, induction of the, what's called the battleground mode or whatever it is, uh, which I personally dislike, I don't like Fortnite whatsoever, I think Fortnite was the closest for me to liking that kind of, uh, what's called, um, game mode. But yeah. to be as soon as he started taking that game seriously, I've then realized, yeah, this isn't fun. I'm not playing this game. Like I'm not playing. I'm not gonna play a game where you're mandated to uh, really, really try. Like taking it seriously. I mean, uh, give me a second. Right here. Dino here. I'm, uh, I have to apologize again. Um, I, I've been sick for I don't know, maybe a, a whole last week, um, and I'm still trying to get over it. So I'm coughing every once in a while, and I do have to like unplug the mic so that way nobody fucking hears me coughing out a lung and shit. Um, I'm trying to recover mine because like I'm mm. but, uh, Alright, well that's good to hear, dude. I've, like I said, I mean, I've been, I did you not, I was sick for like a full week. And I'm still trying to get over it. Uh, God damn it. Had I known, it, it's kind of hard to play this game while talking. Like, it really genuinely is. Like, this is the one game where I can't talk and play. Uh, play good at least. I think I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm doing top heal. It's not the best team, but it's still good. Um, so, yeah, the whole Battlegrounds thing I really don't like and I hate it. I don't know how people find it fun. I think it's pointless. It's not a, it's not entertainment if you're, uh, if you're really, really just like putting your life into it. And that's when I really, that's the only time I'll ever say like, hey, stop getting mad, it's only a game. Aside from that, if you're playing casually and like, yeah, sure, you'll rage every once in a while. Which is me, I tend to rage a lot. Um, but for the most part, that whole battleground game mode, whether it's PUBG, uh, Fortnite, and now Black Ops 4, what the fuck is going on with this world, dude? That's not what video games were meant for. To see, uh, so that you wouldn't have fun, and so that you can be stressing out playing it. That's not what a game is supposed to be, at least in my opinion. Uh, so that's the reason why I dislike that type of shit. Uh, I don't, I don't think that uh, it's gonna be any good. In uh, Black Ops 4, I don't think it's gonna make the game different, or the game mode at least. Uh, Find their weakness I think it's just gonna be average. I don't think it's gonna be, be better than Fortnite mastery. because Fortnite at least makes it slightly fun. Um, I think it's stupid having like the strategy people use where like you're shooting people and then you start building a wall in front of you. That yeah, is. For, for me, it's really complicated. I, I still can like do like just like a building maze crap. Uh, I just what if the people do that I just like shoot with I like the bottom of other other portion collapses but everything else uh I'm okay with the game I just I don't know. I I don't I don't like it. There's nothing I can say about it that is positive. I think what it does to the gaming industry is not a good thing. Um, I guess I'm pretty old school when it comes to video games, even though 
you know, there's a lot of things about old school video games that I dislike because a lot of old school video games are mainly uh, platformers or uh, side scrolling. Uh, which side scrolling I don't mind, but uh, platformers. I really trash at them, so uh, I, I hate them by default because I'm pretty trash. Um, but aside from that, I guess I, I really am uh, old school when it comes to video games, and I don't like this whole esports sweat your ass off to pretty much give gaming a bad name. Uh, because gaming had a good reputation, you know, people have played it, we're just playing it to have fun, and play it casually. Uh, people call baseball America's pastime, I think video games are the world's pastime. Um, so, now they're not really that as much, I think it's gotten way too competitive to the point where it, it just doesn't uh, give off that what's called uh, that same feeling of having fun and enjoying yourself. Now you're just fucking stressing the fuck out and really trying your ass off. Um, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, but yeah, so Black Ops 4, I don't think it's gonna be any, any different of a game from Black Ops 3, even with the induction of that, uh, that event. Um, yeah, when I saw... I mean, when I saw those trailers for all of the zombies from Overplay and all that, the trailers, by looking at it, it's cool, but, you know, I just get the feeling that, you know, once I buy the game, it won't make any difference, it's just gonna be like the same. Yeah. Um, I, I feel the same with, uh, World War II. The World War II, granted, is... For me, it was a lot of fun. I honestly, I would, I would, I would see myself playing World War II over Black Ops 4 because Black Ops 4 just isn't doing it for me as much. Uh, people were begging for boots on the ground for so long. Now they got it, and here we are going back to Black Ops 4, which, as far as I'm concerned, there isn't a whole lot of flying around. But it is, you know, still a futuristic setting, which, you know, people are getting tired of. Um, I don't think it's going to be, uh, like, trash of a game. I think it's going to be a good game, decent enough. Uh, I just don't see myself saying that they can't. Um, awesome. Getting tired of this shit. Um, but anyways, Black Ops 4, not necessarily looking forward to it, but I'm not necessarily discounting it as a good game. I think it's going to be good enough. Um, then there's another game that I really got somewhat interested in. It's like, uh, you know, it's you know uh, a different type of video game as far as I'm concerned. Um, I don't, I, uh, the game I'm talking about is, uh, Rage 2. I heard the first Rage flop, so I'm not that hyped for it as much. Uh, but it is, uh, it's Bethesda, right? Or, no, 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 not Bethesda, um, is it Bethesda? I can't remember, fuck. It's, um, uh, it's published by Bethesda, but the developers, it's, uh, it's software. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, uh, so I got... Got it partially right. I hate it when your like your teammates are so blind. I also hate it when I say you don't need to watch the video and just listen. And here we are. here I am bringing you up what's happening in the video. Um. Anyway, yeah, that game it looks. I don't know. It's, I don't know how it's going to fare. I don't dislike it and I don't like it. It's just meh. But I'm looking forward to see how it'll fare, you know, against the other uh, video games coming out. Maybe it's gonna be. Oh, oh, hold on a second. Mm. Yeah. What the fuck is that noise? Yeah, I'm hearing it too. I have no idea. Uh, uh, it's a fucking. Hold on a second. I'll bring it back. Yeah. It uh, it appears that. 
criminal is having technical difficulties. Uh, we'll resume with the podcast when we return. Meanwhile, um, I, I, it's not like I can put anything over on top of this. Uh, so I guess I'll continue talking to you guys. So why not? You guys are beautiful people. Uh, Marilyn Manson. Anybody listen to Marilyn? Marilyn Manson. I like him. Uh, not in a uh, an intimate sense, but you know, I like him in a, in a, in a, in a I'm his fan type of way. Uh, not his biggest fan, but you know, I'm a fan no less. I like him. Marilyn Manson's alright. He's, he's good. Uh, philosophical at best at times, but you know, we're. He's a good musician as well. Um, Marilyn Manson's... It, it, it's saddening... saddening. Ugh, I'm an English major, people. I ever tell you guys that? <laughs> English major, but I'm not a fucking speech major, so... Expect me to... to be trash with my words. Uh, God damn. Um... Anywho, what was the thing? I was saying some bummer in my Um Yeah, I, I think he's alright. I don't I like him enough. I don't listen to a lot of his songs, but oh yeah, now I remember it's saddening when you find out that Merlin Manson's like pushing forty or fifty. Uh because when he first came in he was he was really young. I mean that granted forty and fifty is still young. Um it's not old. I, I don't think somebody's considered old up until they're like 90. That's what I deem old. 80 is like, alright, you're getting there. But 90, I think that's when like you're actually old. At least to me, that's how I feel. I don't know. I'm a weird person. Oh, well. Uh, anyways. Now that I think about it, I don't, I don't listen to that uh, to many new bands. Um, I'm pretty old school in video games and I guess in, uh, in music as well. And I say old school, I don't mean freaking, uh, like, I guess we'll keep, I don't know. I, the type of music I listen to is typically music that is not played on the radio. Uh, so, it, it varies, it varies a lot, so. Oh, I'll, I'll go from like. A oh, hi, you're back. Sorry about uh, that. I, I was just talking to your viewers about music. Oh, shit. Uh, one time? Oh, no, no, don't worry, you weren't here. I'm gonna be repeating myself. That's what you get. That's what you get for me. You decided you need to go poo and shit. It's your fault. That beeping doesn't. <laughs> give me a sign of me taking this shit. That is that is so you taking a poo. Uh, <laughs> what was the beeping? Uh, my my brother's fucking uh, fire fire alarm. Okay. Yeah. From the fucking uh, wall. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I hope there wasn't a fire. No, like for some reason it just started to to do that and. My brother was just being a dumbass. Uh, he didn't do anything, but yeah, uh, he was just like a lot of stupid shit. And then he came into the shower and he's like, saying, Oh, I'm sorry, I was dropping my mixtape. Jesus Christ. They're way well. Eight, your your youngest brother is way too hipster for that age. It's kind of ridiculous. I <laughs> I can I can't I mean, even find them if, if they're they're either from the millennial side, no. They're no, they're, they're not millennial. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I don't know what it is, uh, what that generation is. I can't remember for the love of me. Um, but all I can call him is a hipster. Uh, and Joe, uh, my brother, Traveling which, you know, I'm pretty sure I've called him Joey here. Um, I, I guess if anyone's curious what my brother's name is, it's not. Uh, he uh, he's also pretty fucking hipster, and it's annoying, especially when I was hearing him for years, like 2011, 2012. He was always trash talking a lot of the new uh, mainstream artists, 
and the mainstream fashion as well and sure enough that's the thing he's doing now and that's kind of disappointing and I, I don't like having a hipster brother but whatever whatever I'm not gonna think too much about it <laughs> um, I don't know what really defines it here, but the more that I look up uh, on the internet, there's things that are just there that what defines a uh, person as a hipster. And uh, the only thing what well, I can find is it's just based off from what music, what people haven't even heard of, uh, like what music. Um, like what old music, what interesting obscure music would you listen to? Which I guess is considered hipster. Um, so uh, I don't fucking know. I... What makes a hipster um, a hipster? What makes a hipster a hipster? What makes a person a hipster is uh, if they do everything that's mainstream. So uh, memes. Like if you're constantly doing memes, you're uh, a hipster in that sense. Um, Oh, damn, a normie? Yeah, cause, yeah, cause that's more like, there's a difference between that and that, but a lot of people gave me like, just, like, if, like, the difference, like, normies, or like, the ones that are just, like, the people, which is normal, but, but they still fuck me, and just, just give a shit, I don't know. I've um, never, I've never heard of the word normie. Like at all, I've never heard of it, and I'm kind of shocked. I'm the <laughs> Normie. Uh, I guess if you're a person named Norman, expect that to be your nickname. Um, what's called? Yeah. So if you do anything mainstream, that by definition, I think that makes you hit. Uh, or, if you want to label them as mainstream and not hipster, so be it. Mainstream still equals fucking uh, hipster to me. Uh, so memes, like if that's all you do, and like if that's your humor, like if that's the only thing you find like funny and all this shit, that isn't Kevin Hart. Because Kevin Hart is also hipster. If you like Kevin Hart, automatically you're a hipster. Um, I, yeah, I'm not a fan of his shit. I, I, I can't find him funny. Um, if anyone's curious, I'm a fan of British comedy, not so much American. Um, so that's where I lie. Um, but anyways, um, uh, music as well. If you listen to music where the singer is just mumbling or is being uh, unclear vocally, you're a hipster. Unless unclear in the way of metal or uh, screaming, then you're not a hipster. But if it's like actual just hip hop and they're just saying. Not, not even saying shit, they just... They don't know, it's like they have soap in their in their mouth and just, they're just moving their mouth. Like, Honestly, I... I I've made this promise where... I'm never gonna... <laughs> I'm never gonna listen to any, any hip hop or rap ever again. And that's because... I think I, I might have told you the story. Like... On, like a phone one day, uh, and that made me want to like stop listening to hip hop forever. And, and that's because uh, I don't know. It just it might criticize one guy uh, because I'm not saying that he's trash, but I'm saying like one album was okay, one person gets mad for no reason. Uh, that happened to one of my friends. He, Call me like a fucking. Call me a bitch and uh. Me I don't know nothing about hip hop. <laughs> oh yeah, you told me. <laughs> oh but my I god, like, it's so kind of funny. But I just, I just told him when I, I, I guess if I don't know about hip hop, then why am I uh, uh, surrounded by hip hop? The fucking. Yeah, it's. That, but... It's um. Uh, it's silly. Hip hop is very. Because the people that follow hip hop and 
Essentially, at this point, I'm talking shit about 90% of the population, including our brothers. Um, people who listen to hip hop are just. They lack in taste when it comes to everything. And I mean everything. That is not an exaggeration. That is a fact. If you listen to hip hop, or at least mainstream hip hop, uh, or rap, whatever, uh, you have a bad fashion sense. You have a bad personality. You have bad. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, you probably have good fucking uh, thinking abilities, which I lack. <laughs> um, you 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 will lack in uh, street smarts as well. We're not really street smarts, but relationship-wise, you're pretty trash. And if you deny that, congratulations. Then now is the first step to uh, to what is it to uh, do? I can't remember. Uh, I can't remember a lot of shit. I think I have Alzheimer's. Oh well. When, <laughs> when you're as old school as me, you're you're pretty much guaranteed Alzheimer's. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I think mostly like the majority of us kind of feels like we're born like in the wrong generation, but at times we can appreciate that like the things that are important. Uh, at least, but. Um, it just goes ups and downs um, from what we um, feel like about this generation because I mean I guess w what I would say is that I just don't like the music when they play and, and I guess just I guess to socialize doesn't really like have that feel like from any generation from back then you know? But um, what I do appreciate, I guess, is just the technology. But anything else is just, I mean, I, that's just pretty much it. I'll agree. Uh, when I see things, I, I try seeing things in uh, in different ways. If that makes sense, uh, and I'm mean, trying to be more specific. Um, so when it comes to uh, older generations, I enjoy seeing it as uh, as history. So, you know, for example, I like thinking that my parents went through a generation where hippies and weed were kind of the main thing. Uh, and disco and all this shit. Uh, if your parents are as old as mine, at least. Um, so I know a lot of my friends' parents are a lot younger than my parents. So that kind of makes me feel just fucking strange. Uh, I mean, what do you <laughs> I guess. I mean, my, I mean, my dad uh, was was really young from the 80s. He was still a kid watching Transformers and Twins. Yeah, dude. See, like my parents, um, they 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 were they saw a lot of shit. I think. Um, uh, what's called? Yeah. So I. I enjoy seeing things in that sense. Um, so when it comes to what we're going through now, I try to see it the same way too, so I wouldn't be so grouchy about it. Uh, so I'm just going like, man, what will happen like, you know, 30, 40, even 100 years from now? How are people going to see this generation and what we've been going through? Like, musically, artistically, uh, literature wise, technology wise, everything like that. I wonder how we're gonna be viewed in, in what spectrum we're gonna be viewed in. Uh, if we were successful in anything, because I feel like this, we've not been successful in anything thus far, apart from technology in some extent, because even in technology we're still lacking. And if we do make something that is uh, amazing or, you know, uh, God, I, I lack the ability to talk and it's kind of ridiculous for me. Um, if it's at all groundbreaking, there's somehow, some way humanity ranges. So we can't have nice things here. Um, 
And there is no way for the future generations to look back through this generation and say, oh hey, they were good at this at least. I don't think we we're good at anything. I mean, we're still at, for the moment, we're, we haven't done anything groundbreaking that isn't mainstream in the sense of like, me. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what we're gonna be known for is internet humor uh, with pictures. Um, I'm trying to think of ma of some things that were like groundbreaking that we might have done. Uh, for the most part, it's all been nature, not necessarily. Us. Uh, for example, we were there when uh, two black holes collided. Uh, oh, I got the same game under the Uno. So, yeah, that's one big thing. Apparently, there was this thing where we sent a car to the moon because we're dumbasses enough to do that. Uh, and I guess litter space as well. We've already littered the world. Why not space? Uh, so I was very pissed off about that. If that isn't obvious. Um, there, is, I mean, the only thing groundbreaking is the Apple, the iPhone. Uh, yeah. And even then, it's still like for us, it's still kind of trash. Like it's the screens are only getting bigger every year. Like nothing's changing. Uh, aside from like battery life and you know uh, screen size. Apart from that, not much has changed. Facial recognition, if you use it, you're dumb. Uh, that is like probably one of the scariest things ever. Um, at least in my eyes, I'm pretty sure. I'm, for security reasons, I understand why facial recognition is a thing. Um, for other purposes that it could be used incorrectly, that's where I fear it the most. Uh, but yeah, so I I don't I I think the iPhone is the only thing uh, being uh, that's revolutionary. I don't think there's anything else. Um, yeah, I I can't really think of something. I mean, b besides like new laws or or just like new Together, things that just we are been strong. By political stuff, I'm not gonna go into it. Uh, yeah, and let, let's just hope the next generations don't bring up politics in like their lectures because that is just moving on. I don't want to say much, but all I can just say is that like we're in, in now like some deep territory. And, like, I just want to get, get out of this shit already. So yeah, uh, politics wise. And for me, uh, it's everything. I don't everywhere. I don't mean just America. America is its, in, its own shit hole. Uh, but the world altogether is also a stupid place. Uh, for people to see things the way they see now uh, is more naive than people wanting peace. And that says a lot. Because people, people claim that, uh, you know, um, it's a naive way to think or to see things if you just want peace in the world. It's not necessarily being naive or being, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, uh, fucking, uh, idealist. It's, it's essentially a fact. There's no way you can tell me that having a war and having, uh, essentially, yeah, war. There's no way you can tell me that war is the way to do it, to like solve the world's problems. Not really. Not at all. I mean, if you think about it, there's many things that we can do as a society, in general, not just America. Uh, there's a lot of things we can do to prevent wars and to, in a way, have the countries get along. Uh, for example, um, and this is an idealistic uh, theory because it's not 
It's not, I don't see it happening anytime soon, especially the way everyone is at the moment. Uh, you know, North Korea, Korea, North Korea wise, North Korea wise, uh, America wise, Russia wise, China wise. If you think about it, the, the countries with the highest economy are pretty much the countries that are ruining things. So, Israel, um, Pretty much anything that's fucking metal would be. Uh, what's it called? Um, they're um, it, it's it's mainly they're they're just paying for wars. That's that's what I'm trying to get to. Um, I don't I don't think they're trying to do anything to help situations. Uh, wars are either led or uh, aggravated through religion or for. If you think about it, countries are essentially gang, gangs, uh, so the one thing we're taught in school not to do is not join a gang, is what we're living in. Um, so the reason I bring this up is because a lot of the other issues is pretty much getting that fucking territory now, isn't it? So either for territory or for uh, religion purposes or primarily uh, because they want to win an argument about who is right and who is wrong. Again, another thing we're taught since, you know, fucking coming out of the womb is don't, you know, violence is never the answer and here we are. The first thing, like, if we're, if we're arguing about which party is uh, correct, yeah, let's, let's go to war because you know, obviously violence is the answer. Um, and I find that kind of hypocritical and I find it ridiculous. Uh, so wars in itself is, is just dumb. Uh, again, for lack of a better word to use. Uh, ridiculous. I'm gonna try not to pull off a Donald Trump and just use ad adjectives. Uh, but yeah, the the way political leaders see things is immature at best. Uh, if we try to solve problems instead of fighting problems, or uh, fighting and causing problems, uh, the world could be a better place. To uh, so the one of the theories that I was gonna bring up, and again, it's idealistic in itself it's, you know I don't see it ever happening anytime soon uh, imagine the world where yeah you know let's let's say eSports is the new sport let's say eSports is going to be the next thing we all do and you know it's gonna be just as good as the Olympics uh, let's say it is it's gonna be that we would have less problems when it comes to that, then uh, what's it called? Then what we're having now. Maybe not clear up every problem in the world, but I, I think there would be less arguing in the sense of like which party is better, in the sense of like, yeah, I think communist is better over uh, diplomacy. Um, so, anyways, or democracy rather. Um, so I think if everybody played video games, I think everybody would be chilled out at least in some extent, unless they're all rage quitters like I am, then we'd probably still stay stuck in the same world. I don't know, I'm just rambling here. I don't like talking politics, obviously I'm not qualified to talk about politics. I'm not claiming I know everything about politics. I'm just saying a lot of this shit is stupid. Uh, people are blinded by their own mindless rage. Um, and I just see the world in the sense that we shouldn't have wars and that we should start seeing things in the benefit for the future and not for the present uh, you know because obviously the, pol the political leaders are selfish as hell um, and they love and they enjoy seeing things on the present and not the future so that said why can't we all just get along 
And I, by the way, I think we got separated. Yeah, we did. Uh, so why can't we just get along and start advancing ourselves in technology and education? So that's pretty much, if you want a better future, that's the route you want to take. Religion is still going to be a thing. I'm not saying religion should go away. I'm pretty sure religion's uh, here to stay, which I don't mind. I mean, I'm I... religious in my own sense. Uh, uh, different, um, j just different ups and downs with it. But... <laughs> uh, yeah, it's uh, it's like that for everyone. By the way, I'm going to open up a loot box. Um, people are going to believe in what they believe in. I'm just going to leave it at that. Religion is one thing I'm not going to talk about. Um, what's it called? Um, lost my train of thought. Yeah, so if this world was where everybody got along with, with each other and they didn't see things like gang members would, essentially we'd be advancing technology and everything else. So, yeah, those, that's my last thoughts on when it comes to politics. Um, but so much for people seeing things that way. Other people see it differently. They just want to see war. They want to see blood spill. Because they don't want to lose an argument. I guess that's just how people are. Which is fucking ridiculous. Yeah, and it doesn't, it doesn't uh, help like... that the the whole mainstream thing is going on with hipsters because they're essentially just as fucking dumb. I think my only issue is it's, it's just it, what just the SJWs. Those are just like the worst people that if I'm surrounded with them, then I can't really last so long with social justice warriors. <laughs> social justice warriors? I've never heard of that. Those are, I mean. Oh, I thought you had. Uh, no, I've it's just never people heard that, of that. Um. The initial is just SJWs. Um, those are like people that, whatever they bring up from the media, they get offended for everything. Oh yeah, for I'm seeing it now. Yeah, I'm seeing it. Okay. So, <laughs> like, let's just say if if Mortal Kombat comes up with an, with another game, but this is way violent than Mortal Kombat X, they're gonna really pick on that game and saying that like. Oh, we don't like what you did to, to this uh, girl character. Why does she have to be so, so sexy? That's yeah. really not, but, like, fucking offensive. Yeah, yeah, and now I know what it is. Uh, I saw the definition of it, and... And I know I've heard the name before, I just... Quite frankly, I erased them from my fucking memory. Um, it's ridiculous. Social justice warriors, for the love of God, cut it out. You attention-seeking whores. There is no way you can ruin shit this much like you are essentially uh what, what's weapon. her name the the mother of Is kyle bravlowski uh sheila oh, sheila yeah they're essentially <laughs> sheila at the flesh um there's no way a social group can ruin that much uh not just video game wise but you know other things as well I know there was something else that, uh, I can't remember. You know, SJWs, they're essentially, uh, as well, Donald Trump's, where you can't tell them shit, otherwise they'll be offended. They're like, in the sense, they're easily offended by everything. There's some things where I understand. You know, like, sometimes SJWs, like, thank you. Uh, because there are some things where, you know, we kind of, like, geez. You know, some things get a little bit out of hand, you know, such as that one game where uh, you go on a killing spree, I forgot what that name is, so... Uh, the one you dislike for the same reason to that anyone else hated it. Uh, where you just shoot uh, civilians and shit. I'm not talking about Grand Theft Auto, obviously. <laughs> uh, uh, hatred? Hatred, yes, thank you. That game took I, it too far. I... <laughs> I honestly didn't mind playing that game, <laughs> uh, but I, I I heard the game was shit, so I'm not gonna play it. But 
I didn't really care if 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 if, if the game is called we weren't really that fucking defense, but it's just a video game. But it's it's a video game in bad taste. Uh, I guess, but for like example, some it... um, let's say a um, let's just say a family member of yours died in a massacre. Would you want to see a game like that where you're playing a character that causes a massacre? I mean, not at that moment, but you wouldn't just... at any point. So I see it in the sense I wouldn't like it if that happened to anyone. Especially to someone close to me, why am I going to support a game that essentially lets you play something like that? So, I'm not saying that they support that kind of crap that happened, maybe they do, I don't know. I don't know the developers, I've never interviewed them for it. Um, but really that's how I see it, and at times that's when you have to put your, your foot down and say like, hey, you know, this is a little bit too far, cut it out. Uh, yeah. When it's things like South Park, that's humor. You know, hatred is not humor. That wasn't made for like uh, laughing purposes. That show was made just. Who knows what the purpose of that was even made? I really, I genuinely don't know why they made that game. There's no way that should have been a game. The only thing I could just see from the game was just them being edgy. That's pretty much it. Not, but, not really. um, but honestly, no, nah, I mean, I had this argument with one of my friends long time ago. Um, honestly, I... It's not that... Uh, I guess, yeah, uh, I, I do think that, like, that that's kind of wrong in some sense, but to me, it's just a game. But... I I I I can kind of kind of see it now why um, why people would take this seriously though, you know? but there's some other things that I don't know that I've seen before that was really controversial. For example, a lot of people took it seriously with the movie The Interview, and I guess nobody yeah, wanted to see it because The Interview. They're yeah, talking about the, the that was the only controversial with North Korea. Yeah, but a lot of people they took it so seriously because nobody wanted to see this movie because supposedly it, it could track down or North Korea could, 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 could find uh, a person who even watched it. I'm like, you guys no, not, uh, no, that you're there are two different things. That wasn't controversy at all. Uh, again, the only People that found that controversial was North Korea. Adversity is um, an opportunity for so no, you, you you have them confused. Uh, if we're talking controversy, obviously the granddaddy of them all is Mortal Kombat. Uh, but we already know for what reasons, and pretty much nobody minds that kind of violence. Um, because it's I mean, not. I don't mind violence in general, but. <laughs> I don't but either. Just like in, in like a formal video no game, that's it. Yeah, no, I, I don't either. But when it goes too far, like hatred did, and then I have to put my foot down and say like, hey, like, no, we're just, just don't do that. Um, what's it called? I'm trying to think of other controversial games. Um, and really, there isn't. I mean, there is. There aren't much that like. <laughs> Offend me as much as hatred did, uh, because it was that bad in taste. So I don't know. I, don't I would know. just. I mean, I play the game just to, to be curious. I wasn't really that much of, of, of offended by it because I, mean, I know that would never happen. I'm, uh, like when For a guy you, kills, maybe. like I'm sorry, but it, like, 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 like to me, it's, it's, it's just a game. Uh, but. Anyways, like when I play the game, the game it, it's really terrible. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's really bland, and and the gameplay is dull. So again, but, what was the point? My um, it, it, it may like be said, to you, it may be just a game. That's great, you know, to each their own. But what was the point of the game? If it had a bad story, if it had any. If it had bad gameplay as well, where, where was the payoff? 
it had a plot, but the plot just is you killing yourself. But you, but you wanted the whole, uh, uh, the whole world game. to die with you. Yeah. So pretty much what happens in real life, let me cause a fucking slaughter and take whoever I can yeah. with me. You can see why people found that offensive. Even I, and that's never happened to me. Uh, but that's one thing you have to stop seeing things. And this is not just, you know, me telling you, this is me telling everyone. That's one way you gotta stop seeing everything. Where, hey, it doesn't affect me. So, sometimes, yes, I do support uh, social justice warriors. Because, and you know, obviously not for the dumbest of reasons where, you know, the shit with Tracer where she was too sexy. Fuck off. <laughs> but in the sense where... Yeah. But in the sense where something's in bad taste, whatever it may be, I'll support them. But aside from that, you know, that's one way people gotta stop seeing things where it doesn't affect me. It, uh, it doesn't bother me because of it. So, which is why the uh, socially uh, people fail in. Uh, let's say somebody gets robbed um, in the uh, in the uh, house next to yours. You're gonna say, "Oh man, that's scary," but hey, at least it didn't happen to me. I'm not gonna install a security system since it didn't happen to me. Overconfidence. Next, mean, fuck, it, next, it, 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 next it, 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 day you get robbed, and then you start thinking, yeah, we gotta do something as a community for this. Like, yeah, as soon as it happens to you, that's when you realize we gotta do something about it. So again, that's not just in video games. That's not just in uh, uh, for you. That's for everyone who sees things that way. Where if it doesn't happen to me, I'm not gonna worry about it because that's that's where we as a community fail. Yeah. So, I guess. I mean, people are gonna be the way they are. Yeah. I'm arguing again. Uh, you know, just. I I only wish, and I'm pretty sure people would see this would want the same thing. It'd be nice if people thought the way you thought. I'm pretty sure everyone sees that way. Uh, even, even all those goddamn, uh, even Hitler probably saw it that way, where he wished everybody saw the, his, uh, the way he saw things. Um, uh, I guess that's just the human mind. Um, uh, but yeah. Social justice warriors, fuck you, but also thank you. <laughs> What was, there was something uh, else we were going to talk about, I don't remember. I mean, besides Call of Duty, we were covering that out. Mm. Um, I guess music-wise, um, I do understand that people have their own taste. Um, excellent but with, teacher. when it comes to things that, like, like you're listening to it, to it for no reason, like with no passion, that it kind of bugs me a bit because you're, you're listening to it because everybody's listening to it. Not because of yourself. Um, yeah, um, and you know, music, I, again, I try, like anyone else, I do my best not to uh, judge people for the music they listen to, whether I like it or dislike it. Uh, you know, you know the old saying, you know, show me your friends and I'll show you who you are? At least that's how I think of it as goes. Um, same thing with music. Show me your music, and I can get a good, good, uh, uh, I can judge you pretty well just by seeing the music you listen to. Uh, and that you actually listen to, not a fake out thing where like, oh, you're saying that? Alright, let me put you this shit and fucking, uh, curb you on it. Or swerve, as they call it nowadays. Um, what's it called? Yeah, so... I'm, I'm, I'd be pretty good at judging people just through the music. Oh, fucking hell, what are you doing, Jay? What? What did you just do? Oh, is it the mic problem? Yeah, god damn, that blew my... It's my fucking cord, I'm sorry. Jeez, that's fine. 
the that happens to, uh, that happens to me a lot every time I want to play with him on Fortnite. Jeez. Um, he takes that game way too seriously. I mean, he pretty much takes every game seriously. He takes this one extra serious. Um, anyways, yeah, musically, uh, music and literature are two things that bring the world together. Uh, even more than video games, even more than religion. I think music and literature are two hobbies that would do positive things for the world. That said, it's the reason why I don't mind. Uh, I do dislike hip hop and rap and all this horrible crap. Pop and country especially. But, you know, if people listen to that, so be it. I do not like you anymore as a person just for listening to that crap. Um, but, again, I enjoy seeing things historically and psychologically where um, it's nice going through it, I guess. It sucks, but it's nice. Uh, yeah, yeah. But what's called, I don't like either of those genres and I can't make it clearer than that. I can go on a 10 hour rant. I can write a 100 page essay as to why I dislike those two or all those genres. Um, there's a lot of reasons. Uh, but just to make things, you know, just to go back on track, I guess. I'm a um, man apocalypse. Has, what were we even going to talk? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, have I instantly forgotten? Like, what were we going to talk about? I was, I was so close to go on a rant. I had to stop myself. I mean, I mean, just basic, but that's Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but what's it called? Yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. I, I, that happens to me a lot. That's why I start thinking I have Alzheimer's. No. The only thing I could just say is that the way I see people listening to music is just it's just things that like there are certain people that I do like why they like music, but other other reasons that I, I do not like people listening to this kind of music because like the things that I criticize from one from one album really got them offended. Oh, that's right. That's what we're talking about. Um, to me, I wasn't trying to shit on a guy. I was just trying to criticize what I felt about it. Like, I, I, I guess just to tell you like a little bit of a story. Um, it's just I heard the whole album from Kendrick Lamar's Dan. Oh, that's wow. uh, And a lot of people overhyped it when. When people overhyped it, there's two ways that it, it can go. I, I, either that overhyped would ruin the album, or overhyping it could be surprisingly well, well made. And the one that I got was just okay. Yeah. And one guy was. I just said to him, like, the album was okay. And he just said, what? Fuck you, bitch. I like you. Don't know nothing about hip hop. <laughs> That's, that is like the dumbest <laughs> fucking thing that I ever heard. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking die here out of fucking laughter. Um, I, I never heard that in my life, and whoever is. The next person that does say that should go rot in hell because that. <laughs> that. That. that makes no fucking sense, it's just, it, well, I don't know. The thing that disappoints me is that, <coughs> oh, excuse me, um, I try my best for a grouchy person that I am, I do, I do try my best to be understanding and to not criticize people for the things that they like, just the way I am. Um, I do hate people. I hate parking next to people because I don't trust people. I dislike everything about everyone. Um, much better. I would just much rather be alone 
than be around people. Um, but, that said, I'm not gonna be an asshole and fucking shit on any anyone that doesn't like my shit. Um, so, it's kind of disappointing seeing how people don't do the same. Like, you tell them one thing that you dislike, that uh, they like, and they, they get upset over it, and they give you shit for it. And it's like, wait, whoa, 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 like, hold on, like, what's going on here? Like, you know, I'm pretty much, like, I hate the fact that you're making me listen to hip-hop. Um, and here you are giving me shit for not liking it, when I clearly told you I didn't like it. Um, so, you know, I gave you the respect yeah. enough to listen to it. Uh, yeah, like, I'm, I'm not trying to say later. that, like, I don't recommend it, don't listen, like, like to the album. Good. It was just, like, from my perspective of, of, of what I felt about it. I mean, I just said, like, like the album was okay. Um, it's just, like, when people, they take it, like, too seriously about those things, um, it's just, I don't really un 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 understand why, uh, people... They get so offended by it. I, it's just really that funny. It's that whole Donald Trump thing, dude. You tell him something bad, and the next thing is they're, they're fucking snowflakes and just get destroyed by it. Um, what's it called? Um, then again, it's disappointing that people are that way. Uh, when you give them all the respect in the world, even though you know you're not gonna like it. Um, and it's, I just don't know why people are that way. Um, and unfortunately, my brother is that way. So, if I yeah, tell him, like, hey, this song is this song is crap, he's gonna give me shit for it. I'm just like, I'm sorry, it really is. Like, there, and don't get me wrong, there's some hip-hop songs, rap songs, whatever, that I will be like, hey, you know what? Three out of five stars. It's good. And... Get Those tend to be, you know, good songs. Like, they're really good, you know, uh, the primary example is, uh, what's called, uh, fucking, I mean, uh, I think it's really Easy Vert, Lil Easy Vert, uh, the, uh, X, XO Tour Life or whatever, that song, uh, uh, Uzi Vert, Lil Uzi Vert, whatever his name is. Oh, uh, um. I mean, I heard of him, I just never heard of his music. Yeah, well, he has one good song. Just one. Uh, and apparently one hit wonders are a lot of these things. Um, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna, I was gonna say we have to back out of this one, but I think we're just gonna get reconnected anyways. Actually, no, yeah, back out, because I think we'll be separated, I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, just... just oh, it brought you out with me, or...? Um, oh, I just okay. did it on my own because I, I wasn't thinking that. Uh, yeah, no, it's fine. I honestly don't know if it pulls you out with me if I, if I leave. Um, but yeah, so, jeez, your mic, dude. Hold on, hold on, let me fix it. Yeah. While uh, Jay's away fixing that, I guess I'll continue. Um, okay, did it fix? You know, I mean, it was gonna, it got better by, you know, yeah, I'm sure it was gonna fix, it, fix itself is what I'm trying to say. Uh, anyways, what I was saying was that um, some of the hip-hop music or rap music is good. Some, and it's very rare. Uh, if people weren't blind enough uh, with music, they'd understand why I dislike it. Um... Uh, Lyrically, it's horrible uh, compared to every other music genre. It's virtually talking very quick or very slow, depending on the artist. Um, they're not using even the most uh, rudimentary... Uh, is it, I think I said it right. Oh, fuck. Uh, vocal lessons. Uh, or not lessons, derp, uh, skills, abilities, 
I don't think they even use their diaphragm when they're singing because they don't even need to use tone and range. They just sound like robots or zombies that are gargling on something. Um, for the most part, the way I've seen hip hop and rap is they don't do good in everything that makes a song good. So, for example, um, and again, I went off track. We were talking about something else. We we're talking about music in general, but I derailed into this. Um, music, or music, uh, rap music, and all of those. There are three things that can make a rap song really good. One, you have to have a good flow, as it's called. Two, you have to have good deliver delivery, and or slash good beat at least. Uh, and the third one is that it has to be lyrically good. It does if it starts off about talking or with a typical rap formula that I so dislike which is sex, money, drugs. If it involves those three, it's already a bad song because I've heard it all. There's nothing, anything, or even political because for the most part when it's political, they, they're like illiterate in that sense. And it just, just don't even have an opinion. Uh, or they try to benefit from it. So when the whole Black Lives Matter thing was going on, not saying that wasn't important, obviously that is important. Um, when that shit was going on, a lot of artists were taking uh, the opportunity to sing about it because that's easy money. Uh, and for the most we're part, they weren't being at all genuine. And I can guarantee they weren't being genuine when they made the music. Um, Attackers so, incoming in 30 seconds. Um, if that's the formula that the artist is going with, automatically bad song. Uh, they have a bad uh, delivery, it's a bad song. If they have uh, bad lyrics, it's a bad song. And if they're good at one thing, they lack in everything else, which makes it a bad song still. Uh, that's the case with uh, Kendrick Lamar, that's the case with ASAP, that's the case with Eminem, and people consider him a legend, I consider him a legend, but let's be honest here, he lacks in pretty much two other things. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, uh, just for his new album, I mean, I'm not gonna shit on it, but from what I felt is, <laughs> is that I, I don't know, it, it was okay. <laughs> as well I mean yeah taste, like, if, if like if Joy was there in, 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 in that room everyone he would just tell me that like that like you're fucking stupid or am I, I, I am, am I just <laughs> that dumb but I don't know because when I heard like a couple of his music uh, I'm just questioning like like huh like what was yeah. like I don't know um Honestly, I really didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, Eminem. Again, legend he may be. He lacks in a lot of things. Um, other legends such as Tupac and Biggie. Uh, also lack in two other things. Because Tupac, great. Fantastic lyrically. And sometimes his songs would go from either being really good lyrically or being really good with a beat. But his delivery or his lyrics, he will lack in two of them. He can't have a perfect song. Same thing with Big E. He couldn't have a perfect song with it. Um, so even some of the legends lack in those things. They can't have a perfect song. For me to like it at least. Some people may just want one of those things and that'll be good enough for them. Uh, that's not the case if you're like, you know, you and I, we're, um, we're fans of music, like actual fans, not just saying like, oh yeah, we're fans. I'm a music whore, if, any, if anybody knows me enough, they will know that, that I'm a music whore. I would like any genre so long as the song is good. Um, 
it's for the most part hip hop pop uh rap i don't even i still don't know if they're different things still have no yeah, fucking clue um to me i kind of struggle with like what does it really defines for country these days because yeah, I was about uh, to say that one too country is also another one that I dislike I mean there is like difference a bit like from generations of country but when it comes to like country that they really butchered like the genre itself by just adding new like new genres Knock together down, like pop or hip hop into up. country yeah. that really ruins the whole tr tradition of uh, country itself. Uh, on, that, on that note, uh, I'm not saying that, I'm also not saying that uh, the music we listen to is perfect. Uh, I listen to core punk, which nobody listens to nowadays. So if you're a fan of Blitzkid, uh, The Misfits, uh, The Spook Show, The Creep Show, um, just going off by the top of my head and I can't remember Everyone a lot of them. Uh, the Death Riders. If you're a fan, I don't actually. I don't think they're four uh, punk. No, um, there's a lot of them that I just absolutely love, and I think uh, apart from Michael Graves, because he's my favorite artist, but my favorite band so far, I would have to say is Blitzkid. Um, they're good in everything, uh, eighty percent of the time. So lyrically, music, uh, musically, and um, or instrumentally, I should say, because I don't even know if musically works. Instrumentally, uh, they're dogs learn a few they're tricks. great in every way. Michael Graves is perfect in every way. I I would gladly suck his dick. Uh, <laughs> like I, not even a fucking joke. I would. Uh, like okay. I'm that big of a fan of his. So don't laugh at me. I am offended and no, I will no. call the SJW on you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm joking. Uh, but yes, no, the thing I'm not joking about, even though it is a joke in itself, I would suck his dick. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm that big of a fan of his. Um, he's just great. But enough of sucking his dick. Um, I would put him on top of everyone else anyone else on top of michael jackson on top of uh what's his face elvis on top of fucking eminem on the top of anyone beat. considered a god michael graves will beat them because he's good lyrically he's good in delivery he's good in um uh what's Play called uh vocally so tone range everything the guy's perfect um, so that's why I would put Michael Graves above everyone else. And the fact that he's already maybe, I think people forgot about him because if you say the name Michael Graves, you won't know who he is. I know you know, you probably do know, I don't know if you do honestly. Uh, um, I mean, I just know him from the Misfits. Thank you, at least you do know. Uh, but I know a lot of people because I've shared uh, that information with uh, with friends slash acquaintances that he's my favorite artist and they're like who's that I'm like the fucking lead singer from uh, or the second I think he was the second right because I know it was Danzig yes. and then it was him right yeah Danzig is a god <laughs> yeah, not as much as a god I, as Michael uh, Graves though I, I can't compare because I haven't listened to it for a while but um uh, yeah, I'll link you some songs. Um, if, if you're watching this, and who knows if you are or not, if we have any viewers, um, go ahead and YouTube Michael Graves, Forbidden Planet. Uh, go with the acoustic one, because uh, I mean, if you prefer that, uh, the original version has. Uh, I think his name is. Man, what's his name? I need to Google this real quick. It's quite something. I can't remember. Um, Motion is white, I think. Um, I know that he does, he has a band named Motion is in white, but white. I'm adding a lot of emphasis on the H. Um, 
But what's it called? Yeah, I don't like that band, Motionless and White. I, I think it's okay. It, it's too. Uh, just so you can get a taste of it, it's, think of just a more. I can't describe it. A more techno y uh, rock slash metal band, which is not my taste at all. I don't like it when something sounds electronically in a rock slash metal band. It just doesn't go well, at least for me. Um, but yeah, if, you're, if, you're, if that's your taste with him, uh, with that other singer, because he does screamo in that one song, um, then listen to the original. But I would go sure the that? acoustic the route. Because it's just Michael Graves and there isn't all that fucking screaming. Which I think I ruins the song. I need to turn on the AC. Let me know if uh, you can hear it in the background. Hey. If you can, look, I guess I'll have to turn it off. Alright. Yeah, can you hear it or...? Um, Aside from the beeping, because that was me turning it on. I mean, most of the time when... Uh, I mean, well, I just hear it, it's just a blowing, but that's pretty much it. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll have to turn on my mock volume then. Uh, fuck. Honestly, though, um, like, I appreciate, like, just music from back then. I mean, that's just saying, like, look. I like to pop people and get right. Um, I'm also pretty open in music. Uh, I'm listening to just put, like progressive. Um, I, I like progressive, all, all, all alternative rock, um, post punk. Uh, I guess in the track from the 70s. Uh, God damn, dude. This, really team, this team is so blind, and I'm sorry you're gonna bounce. Go on. Oh uh, no, but yeah, I'm just saying that. Like, I guess if if, if we're if we're talking about music, then I listen to, like shot. like to them more. But um, one kill. but uh, I guess I I guess I'm also like an old school person. I listen to like anything old, but I really appreciate like music from back then, and it's just more that it actually ag acknowledges like like music from that. Um, learn more about it but I guess like the group like I guess like if, if I had to list like five or ten of my favorite bands mm. um, it, I mean it's kind of hard because I listen to a lot of bands and it gets really hard just to pick your five uh, favorites um, yeah. but I, I guess I could just uh, I'm not gonna like come up with like top five I'm just gonna just list of five people that that I'm that I guess I will listen to every day um, I guess my first one is is just gonna be the Velvet Underground oh yeah, um, yeah I fucking love that band and I love the redo uh, one of my favorite musicians and like recipes on him um but uh, he um he really knows music um I guess th like the Smiths, but Morrissey could be an asshole at times. But I still love that band. Um, Joy Division, like one of my favorite um, punk bands. And um, Talking Heads. And um, I guess the I guess the Rolling Stones. Um, two of those bands I've heard of. <laughs> um, well, obviously Velvet Underground and the Rolling Stones. Uh, did you say Aerosmith or did you say the Smiths? The Smiths. Oh yes, I've never heard of them. Um, um they're like a really like good band if if you like like different music. Um, because I mean, I guess if if, if you ever hear that their music, they might be looking like. It might be looking like and it's some type of band that they can play punk, but they're like some type of alternative uh, post-punk type of deal. But they also like re regenerated uh, or they reinvented like the indie uh, genre um, from that band. Mm -hmm. um, 
if, if you listen to at least like a couple of their four albums, don't listen to, to their last one because it's totally shit. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, um, they only lasted like since, since 1980, since 1984 through 1987. Right. And because the band, and that's because the, the band had has complications. Right. And. Oh, uh, have you been moving? Yeah. Who knows? I guess Anyways, maybe somebody uh, reported you or something. Who knows? Welcome to join me. Um, I mean, you just killed know. someone. There's no way you could be removed for an activity. Who knows? Um, well, anyways, um, it's just a, I guess the problem with that band is that. Uh, it's pretty much like uh, on uh, everyone else, they all have uh, like complications with each other mm. that they just keep fighting for like like for some stupid shit. But when they're playing together, it's really beautiful to listen to uh, um, like the main singer's voice and mm. uh, like they're from England. Um, they're from um, um, Manchester mm. and. Um, yeah, like it, 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 it's a really good band if you like like the indie, indie um, alternative um, rock. Yeah. But, um, what I like is it, just like their other four albums, and it, it's, it's also like a controversial band because because at the time um, she made a song about like a he made like a love song, but it's 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 from a guy because. Um, a lot of people find it controversial that he was gay. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, at the time, I can see why. Yeah. And, um, honestly, like, that, that song is really beautiful, how it was crafted. Um, but what do you call it? Uh, yeah, um, it was really controversial at the time because, um, he made those types of music. And his albums also had, like, Images of like apps from a guy, but uh, I, but you know, it, I, I, I really didn't have any problems with just to cover the album. I just care about just the music itself. Yeah, I uh, seeing you gotta uh, obviously it was a different time back then. Homosexuality wasn't accepted as much as it is today. Um, so obviously it's I don't want to say it's understandable because there's no reason for that. Uh, but it's, um, uh, what's it called, um, uh, it's historically accurate, I guess. By the way, I backed out, uh, I, I think we should wrap it up right. here. Uh, All right. but what's it called, anyways, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, I'll do my best to start posting again, which I doubt it. I haven't found a reason to post aside from Jay telling me to do a podcast with him. Uh, regardless, I mean, I, it, just everything from what we said, it's just I guess Call of Duty is. I don't know what the hell is gonna be good or not. Um, I I if, think it, I think um, it'll be fine. I probably won't get it, but. We always say that. We said that with World War II and we ended up getting it. I'm not gonna... I'm not... Because you, cause you keep pushing me. Because <laughs> <laughs> if World War II is a fun game. Uh, it's not so fun That's anymore not, because no. the DLCs came out. Yeah. And I don't want to buy that shit. I don't think we should be forced to buying a DLC. Anyways, that'll be an, uh, another topic for another podcast. For now, we'll see you all next time. Laters.